Well guys, once again, I am hiding out in the back patio. People are running around the house, the laundry's going, it's rather noisy in there. So I come out to this little room for just a little getaway and I thought I'd take a moment and share with you something that happened. And um, astrophotography is not easy. And when you get a few nights and or a night and you run out and you take some images and then you have to put all your gear away and you didn't really complete the process that you should have sometimes you have data that you find and you're excited that you found it and it's not usable so let me tell you guys what i did months ago there was a clear night and I took some images. I took some images of the Horsehead Nebula and it was with the camera that I had borrowed so unfortunately I don't have that camera anymore because I borrowed it and it's now returned. But what happened is I took some images and in my hurry I put everything away and then life took over and I forgot about those images. But what I also forgot was to take the calibration frames. Now, that may not be a bad thing for some, but out of curiosity, I decided to process those images and I didn't process before very long before I, I literally trashed them. But I wanna show you what those images look like without calibration frames and to encourage you guys to take the time to take dark frames to get rid of the glow that some cameras produce and hot pixels and light frames the flats the the flat the light flat frames you know what I mean but to get rid of those dust bunnies because I happen to have amp glow hot pixels and bunnies all over this image so it's really a shame that I lost about three hours worth of data that I could have been sitting out here on a rainy day having fun um, processing. So I'm gonna show them everything to you over there on the computer. All right, folks, I just wanted to take a moment and show you what happened with my images. I'm gonna open up one image here. It's of the Horsehead Nebula, a single 60 second shot. And what I realized today when I was wanting to go back and process this image, I took this image back on December 6th of last year and I failed to take calibration frames. So this is my image. Overall, it really does not look too bad. It does have quite a bit of hot pixels in here that if I had taken some dark frames, I could have calibrated it out. And you can see just a hint of the uh, amp glow on the image here. And what happened when I realized I didn't have calibration frames, I didn't have any flat frames, I didn't have any dark frames, I said, well, let's just see what this image looks like after I just run, I register them and I integrate them. And this is what I ended up with. It's like, oh my God. I mean, look at how everything was just amplified. The glow here, with a stack of 40 images just it just takes over the picture and I could have completely calibrated this out if I had taken the dark frames but another thing that we noticed now that we've got multiple frames here stacked up is I have a whole bunch of little dust bunnies all over this image um, I seriously needed to clean off either the camera or the filter. It's probably on the filter that was dirty because I took it from another setup and it was exposed to night air. And I've got a airplane that decided to photobomb this image also a couple times that I probably should have, I probably could have calibrated that out also. Um, but the, you know, the long and short of it is take your calibration frames. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to run them, especially if you have a, um, a cooled camera where you can set up and take 
all your images. You can take a, a master library worth of 60 second, 120 second, 300 seconds, do them all in one afternoon at a certain temperature and save them and save them for later. Uh, this camera I borrowed, so I didn't have a library. It was also not a temperature cooled one, so I really needed to take those dark frames at night when it was all a consistent temperature and I should have taken my flats and this is what happens when you don't. So lesson learned, make time for those calibration frames. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. I am Amy Astro. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing, hit the alert bell so you know when I upload new Astro related material. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below or follow me over there on my website at www.amyastro.com. I look forward to hearing from everyone. Don't worry, you are not bombarding me. I enjoy getting these little messages during the day and if I can help you, I certainly will help you. And if I don't know the answer, I will forward you to somewhere else that will probably get the answer for you. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody back here next week. And until then, I'm wishing you all some great health, clear skies, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, y'all.